Right now I'm with Manachi and we're holding the Root of the Dollar mixtape. All right, tell the people where you can, uh, where they all can cop this mixtape. You can cop the mixtape. There's a uh, online at dashpips.com slash Manachi, the Root of a Dollar, or over uh, Hot New Hip Hop. And, or we also have hard copies. Like whatever's left over, we got it. Yeah, yeah. So they can get at you how to get the hard copy. You could get at my managers. There's um, there should be the contact information, like online itself, I think, or on Facebook or wherever. You could get it. You could contact us through the Facebook link, through Black Code B L A K C O D E, or at my Facebook directly, which is Kuzo Manachi C U H Z O Manachi. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Minacci is M-I-N-A-C-C-I. All right, we're going to get into what's next on Break of Records, so let's go. So you got a track with Young Buck, right? Yeah, I have a track with Young Buck. It's called uh, Dome Shots. It's produced by Needles. And uh, where where they, can they find that? Anywhere on the web? YouTube? Yeah, or? A lot of, it's, it's on YouTube, like the audio, but... Like when it first got released, it was on. It was on like every major hip hop website. What what album is it off of? That was um, that was a move, like when I started working on an album. But then like every, I started working on a lot of projects at the same time. So we just put that out as a promo, mm -hmm. so like to get like a buzz going. But so so that was just like as a promo song. It it was on iTunes, but then um, it still is. We were gonna actually put it on like my album, but then all these like the copyright like got into a little mix up with all that. Really? Yeah. Even though like it's my it's my song, like it, it, it was mine and Buck's song somehow. Like I don't really get what happened. I guess the communication was was yeah. wrong. But yeah, so we didn't want to just make any. So where can they cop it? Just go right Manachi Dome Shots in Google, and then there'll be like tons of websites to give you the the audio download. All right. Yeah. All right. So you got a project coming out. Yeah, it's called the uh, Illuminati. It's a it's an EP that I'm working on right now. It's uh, probably probably 80% done, but we're still putting the final touch-ups. And who are the, some of the features on that? Oh, there's a uh, <coughs> um, there's Ransom from uh, New Jersey. If nobody has ever heard of him, I got Lotus, which is a former Cream Team member. Yeah. Um, there's uh, Mr. Rustafella, who's a former Cream Team member. So yeah. just like um, the basics. I'm in talks with terminology right now to get on the same track that I'm doing with Ransom, but we're, we'll see how that goes. But yeah. We're. And then um, I think that that is it right now, for now. You got any shows coming up? Oh. Um, yeah, we're working on some shows right now. Hopefully we could get some more up north Canada, like try to go for like Calgary and- You got a web page? Do I have a web page or your Facebook link? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, my individual Facebook link. It's fa Minachi yeah. at Facebook. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's Kuzo Minachi, and I I like just put out just release like just songs just like that over SoundCloud. Yeah. Just to keep people like up to date, it's a uh, SoundCloud.com/slash the Leakers 14 T H A L E A K E R Z 14. So. In the meantime, you, you can just hit up that and some EP drop. Where could people get at you if they want to get at you for a feature? Oh, that would be over my Gmail. I have it over my Twitter. Mm -hmm. I keep my uh, Gmail there for like open. You know what I mean? If anyone needs it, like, or people get at me through Facebook mostly. Yeah. But producers alone from like other parts of the world, they email me directly. Okay. Through my uh, my Twitter. And what is that? My email? Yeah. My email is uh, manachireal at gmail.com. M-I-N-A-C-C-I-R-E-A-L at gmail.com. Word. And my Twitter is uh, Manachi the Real. If you want, if you need any information. Word. Yeah. All right. All right, so let's talk about that one, too. You got a track with, uh, with Just One. Yeah. And that's off of uh, his tape. Yeah, just One and Only. Just One and Only. And uh, talk a little bit about that track. Uh, well, he was it's working. A, it's a newer one, eh? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, track three off the mixtape. Yeah. It's just, if you don't have the mixtape, go get it. Just one, just one and only. But uh, we put that track together a little bit closer to, to when he was finished. But he got at me for like a, a verse, and like we just worked with this one together. 
It's one of my favorite ones, actually. Not just because I'm on it, just how he came on it and like the track alone. But there's gonna be a video for that coming up soon. <clears throat> and yeah, that's that must the, the the mixtape alone is crazy. Mm -hmm. So like like I said, if nobody has heard it and wants to, make sure you go copy it somehow, which is you can get it online. But uh, uh ma make sure you guys go cop that and we're gonna get into it. This is uh, fake featuring Minachi by just one. <laughs> you guys cool with that? <laughs> Are you later, fam? All right, I'll get it off you. All right, so what's your next track? The first single that's gonna be off the my Illuminati EP is called the uh, Turn It All Around. It's uh, it's more of a, a classic feel to it. It's like um, it's just about changing everything, turning everything around from negative to positive. It's probably one of my favorite tracks, like to to date. So we're gonna give you a little, the, maybe just the first verse of it, because. Right. Uh, you know what? We want it to be a surprise, but for you, yeah, we'll give it... Just a little sneak peek, Yeah, a little peak, snippet eh? of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all right. And uh, so we're going to get into that one. What's it called? It's called uh, Menachi Turn It All Around. All right, let's go. All right, so you were part of CT Cream Team, right? Yeah, Cream Team. And is that still around? Do you still talk to those guys? Yeah, yeah, I still, I still communicate with them. We're still as close as before. Um, I have Lotus... On a, on a track called Backwoods off my EP. And uh, shout outs to Lotus. Shout out to Lotus, yeah, definitely shout out to Lotus. If you guys don't know, Lotus is OD, the overdose. But uh, yeah, they're all doing their own thing now, grinding. Like after, I, I, I wish it never, like personally, I wish it never stopped, but things change sometimes for the better. Yeah. But uh, now, like I think of today, and hopefully, and thank God we're all like still communicating and whatnot, and doing our own thing. But it would have been good if we were still doing our thing. I don't know what, like, what the reason is. I'm not gonna get into that. But we had a good vibe and and buzz going. And then the mixtape was called Training Day. It uh, it actually did really good. The, the mixtape back in yeah. 2008. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Training Day. Is there anything else you want to say about that album before we drop it? Uh, the next track. Yeah, I had a an amazing time recording it you know what i mean like working we were up for countless days and hours with the, like the group alone with my managers just trying to direct it making like four or five songs a day yeah it came out as good as it could be we were young mm -hmm. you know what i mean but to this day that's still like a classic to me but you know what i mean like i said it was it was a good experience i appreciate that time in my life work it grew and me grinding in the through. studio eh? yeah and uh yeah. Yeah, we could, I could shut out the track. Yeah. We play, yes, yeah, uh, Cream Team. It's a track from 2008. It's called Indie Street. Produced by Profane. All right, shout out to Profane. Yeah, so Black Code, what's going on with that? Well, Black Code, as of now, there's uh, there's me, there's uh, Just One, Haze, Naps, there's Life, and, and Russ. Am I forgetting? I'm up. Is, li is life still rapping? Yeah, he's still rapping. He's more of now of like a feature. He yeah. Comes, yeah. Right now he's not really working on a solo project, but I have him on a lot of tracks as of now. I'm try I'm trying to get him back to work on his solo thing, but there was a track that I remember you and Life did. What track? Is it Down In? Mm, might have been. Yeah. Is there a video? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That that's Down In, produced by Profane, also. All right, we're gonna play that one too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want to say something about that before it drops? Uh, yeah, that that track alone, we uh, we wrote it for like the place I I'm, origi I'm originally from a, a little like block called McCarty Court. Yeah. So, and I moved. I was there for 15 years. So when I moved out, and I got into the rapping, I was gonna make. We, we tried to make this song earlier, but we didn't really have enough like, talent mm -hmm. to say. So when we got to that point, we just like dedicated a track to to McCarty Court. So I'm gonna holla at McCarty Court. To this day, that's still my home. So. Profane on the beat. It's called Down In. I was YM at the time, so YM, an infamous life, Down In. Produced by Profane. Word. Okay, so uh, Black Code has an uh, album coming out, right? Yeah, yeah, we're in the, we're in the, the process of, work, of working on it. Although we, we're working on our own, we, well, right now, like I said, the Just One mixtape, even though he was doing that and I was doing working on the EP, we still in there putting together the Black Code album. Yeah. Which is, from I know, I'm gonna tell you from now, it's gonna be fire. I just have that much faith in, in my team right now. But uh, 
yeah, r right now we're all just trying to come together and see who fits on the right tracks and like what the concept is. So like, we're gonna give them a little sneak peek of the track off that, eh? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of that. Um, it's it's fun. it's a solo by me. It's called uh, it's called Call On. Call On. Yeah. All right. Is there gonna be a video for that? Or yeah, there's gonna be a video. I think I think my uh, my management is trying to sh uh, shoot it sometime. I think early summer or mid summer. It's right. more of a summer track. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Okay. It's positive vibe. Word. All right. So uh, what is it again? It's uh, Menachi Call On. All right. Call On. Let's go. All right, one of the last tracks off of the mixtape, uh, Root of the Dollar, is You're All I Need, and uh, you want to say anything about that? Uh, yeah, that You're All I Need is uh, featuring Ven. She's a, a really good, uh, talented uh, local singer, which is my manager's first cousin, if I'm wrong, cousin. But um, yeah, I wrote the track, maybe, I wrote the track when I was, I guess, 18. That's one of like the, one of the more older ones on the mixtape. Yeah. It's just at a time in my life when like, I was just in a mix of girl issues, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's a good song to this day, but you know what I mean? Like, to me, it's not really, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I'm saying the right thing, but <laughs> I don't want to say the wrong thing and like, my girl hears it and, I, and she, she fucking stabs me. <laughs> you don't need to say no more. Like, <laughs> Uh, is there any uh, artist in the rap game right now that you uh, want to get the features from that you can see yourself working with in the future? Um, I still I still talk to Young Buck. That's like under, I, I I think we're gonna do another song together. There's a good chance we are. But besides that, um, there's people I like. I usually could like um, get in contact with producers. Yeah. I don't really like reaching out to like already like artists is in the game because like if i feel like i don't like my label alone we don't need that type of help we could do it alone do it yourself yeah yeah but uh like just like saigon if you guys don't know who saigon is he's from uh new york i don't know exactly where i don't want to say the wrong uh um hometown for him but saigon I, as of upcoming artist is i'm not too sure i don't really i like the new generation but i'm not really like follow along with it too heavy. Yeah, I'm just used to. Who is uh, one of your uh, favorite rappers in the game that you know of right now? Like from from like yeah, all the, time. Yeah, that is somebody that's going around right now. Um, I like Lowe's. He signed a bad boy. I, um, who else is there? Um, as of new, I don't. I'm not really into. Uh, no disrespect on any behalf, but I'm not really into like the two chains type of stuff. I, I'm, I'm stuck in the era of back in the, of back in the years in the '90s, 90s. so like I hear my I hear my Tupac all the time. I, I'm a big fan of Biggie, but I don't really t listen to him as often. Yeah, Tupac, I like I like Mace. Mace is one of my favorite artists. So who who would be uh, yeah your favorite artist? My favorite artist of all time. Yeah. Would have been the G Unit in 2004. Like 50, like I learned how to write verses, but to make me learn how to write hooks, I just sat down and I, I dissected 50 until my managers put me on Nas. And I just, I love Nas now to this. Yeah. I, could, I know his verses like the back of my hands. He's one of my, definitely one of my top favorites. Yeah. Nas is one of my favorites to this day, and yeah. I still, Nas still give him all the love, yeah. Uh, you want to tell little people like where you from, the background, where you grew up? I'm from uh, a little block on McCarty Court, which is like the west side of Brampton. And uh, I lived there for 15 years, and I moved more north of Brampton. So now I'm just still, I'm still in the same spot. <laughs> 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 okay, so you want to just continue? Yeah, just be like, I'm from Brampton, okay. shout out to whatever. Okay, okay, so start from where I'm from? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm from Brampton, I started rapping at the age of almost 17, so uh, I got inspired just by the simple things of life, and then uh, it led to me meeting my manager, then everything happened from there. I we, 
uh, we formed like a super group cream team and then when that fell off I just went uh started doing my solo thing so all the projects and uh, all teams that you're involved with right now can you list that so they all know okay um, shout out besides the black hole family I'm gonna give a shout out to LFF grind boy music um, breaking records studios which is definitely up there um, there's a whole lot more but at the top of my head you know what I mean I can't really you want to shout out anybody before uh, we close it up uh, definitely definitely uh, I want to shout out just one Hayes devious naps profit my managers Biggs T my brother life Russ my girl Leia Grinzo Kid Pills Irish Flips Dangles M10 There's a whole lot A whole lot more Alright we're about to get into uh, Broke Man Steam It's a promo for my EP It's produced by Devious Minds Which is a black old ENT In-house producer Be on the lookout for him And uh, yeah let's get to it Alright man, well thanks for stopping by. Thanks bro, I appreciate all the love. No problem. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Minashi got a lot of fire tracks, so guys go check them out. You wanna give him one more link where to go check your latest tracks? On my latest tracks, be at soundcloud.com slash the league is 14. T-H-A-L-E-A-K-E-R-Z 14. You could find me at dapiff.com, like I said earlier. Just go into that pit, search Minachi, the my root of a dollar mixtape will come up. Um, my, my YouTube, the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash black ODNT, which has all the, uh, the recent videos and um, artists from, from the label. Yeah. You can find that. And before I close it, make sure you guys go out there and copy Just One and only mixtape by Just One. It's O and it's Fire. Black Code's main studio is uh, Dimension Studios, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's called Different Dimensions. It's, uh, if you want to get in, in the studio for studio time or if you guys need any uh, video shot, um, you could contact us at info at differentdimensionsstudios.com. Uh, our website is www.differentdimensionsstudios.com. Yeah, make sure you check out the single from my Illuminati EP that's going to be dropping any week now. Minashi, turn a lot around. The EP will be dropping hopefully within a month and a half. Illuminati. Hopefully we get the summer on Smash. Be on the lookout.